everybody this is rink from the rink and today we're gonna go for a ride uh, as you can see i'm on the r18 customized first edition but like i said we're gonna go on a ride but not on this what do you think i'm gonna go ride on can i go to a bmw dealership i'm gonna show you what i am gonna go ride on so this bike has been really fun it is a beauty it is solid craftsmanship is top notch today me and the guys are going to head up north and i'm gonna let them do all the planning i'm just gonna follow the roads and enjoy the ride We're gonna swap bikes. How exciting. Anyways, I'll let you see what it is that I'm gonna hop on to later. Talk to you guys in a bit. bike feels different like I mean different it's not quite as heavy as your road glass reglide but it's kind of top heavy well thanks guys for coming along if you like this video remember to comment like and share and if you think my stuff is not too bad if you don't mind watching more of them videos from me then please consider subscribing to my channel help me out a lot thanks so much This is crazy traffic. What's up? I'm gonna start moving, it's kinda hot. gear of sitting on 1300 and I was going about 30 and I pulled and didn't feel like I was that low in RPM range weird uh, but very easy to ride okay so it's not a sports bike you know with road setting and still getting used to the bike should put this up just so that a little bit less wind it's not that high anyways and there's not that much coverage neither I thought there would be more but anyways this is my initial finding it's not even barely three minutes into the ride but so far everything is cool the weather is cool the ride is cool the traffic ain't <laughs> traffic here is always so nasty so what I do love about beggars is that they got bags no load on my shoulder no net on the back seat nice and clean and you can bring a lot of stuff with you and if you get a grand american version of this bagger you get even more storage room which is convenient but it does affect the handling and well, more, probably more importantly the looks department gets a lower grade but with this the b like just having bags on left and right it looks still very sexy and it does its 
functional job it's amazing love these forms of bikes especially when there is a six cylinder <laughs> it's good so this bike is not as balanced as a GS which is very balanced at least when I swing my legs over that that's what I feel it's super balanced for how tall it is I'd imagine you know most of that has got to do with its boxer engine which is placed very low in the frame of the bike this engine however is definitely not as low but this engine is crazy in terms of power I don't know you can't really argue with a six cylinder compared to a four <laughs> let's see it doesn't die so that reminds me of the counterparts from BMW's offering on motorcycle lineup um, however it does feel very different than the GS if I were to test this bike out and I had a GS just before it I probably really much prefer the GS because it just feels that much more balanced and easy to handle and easy to ride I mean this bike by no means is it hard to ride or is it very uh, not balanced it is very balanced just not as much as a GS I thought everybody else was going to go up north. In fact, everybody's fighting to go east. Anyways, I gotta take it easy because he's got brand new tires. Wow, that buffeting is not very nice. Let's put this down and see what's going on. I think this is a lot better. Sweet up to north right now. I'll sign off and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, so we're almost up into Minden. You guys are all the way up there now. Everything has sort of fallen in place. Now I'm getting more used to the riding position and the way that the different modes gives you the amount of power. Oh, this stuff. As you could hear, the windscreen right now is at the top, it's at the utmost position and yet you could probably hear a lot of wind because I can. I'm kind of confident in handling this machine. As you can see it is quite agile, I mean it is not like what it looks like. It looks like it's super heavy and it isn't. It is and it isn't. I don't know what to say. Let's see if this guy is going to try to come in front of me. I guess not. So going at speeds over 60 miles per hour or about 100 kilometers per hour it really does hit you even at right now the high position. And if I were to put it in the low position, there'd be more wind, naturally. And the buffeting, like I mentioned when I was on the highway, um, pretty much seemed to be gone. Maybe I'm sitting in a better position or a more appropriate position. But anyhow, everything is better than when I first got on it. And maybe because it was very, very new, everything hasn't really clicked yet within the machine itself but now it has so as you can see there's always a lineup here and then there will be another lineup further down the row up going a hill that is because there is a um, 
quite popular location. It's like a spot where people stay and then across the road they have a lot of water activities that you could uh, enjoy in the very short summer of what we have here in Ontario. Even southern Ontario, I can't imagine northern Ontario. But anyhow, the lineup here is usually short, although there's always a lineup because of the lights for the construction. But I do remember seeing this light maybe even like a few years ago. So I guess it's an ongoing construction, like for real. This is a very nice spot to be sitting in the light. Because it's super pretty. Look, can't actually jump into the water, but as you could look at it and admire it, 